This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Carbonite. Coming up, it's a classic game that's been updated for the 21st century and the new upcoming movie. It's Battleship. So we are going to be talking about the movie Battleship. It's coming out. It's coming out very shortly. And we thought, what a great opportunity for us to play the game Battleship. Then we came to the realization that Mr. Dan Trachtenberg has never played the game Battleship. So I mean, that, I had the game in my house yeah, but that my doesn't older brother. It. And I would open it up and put the ships in and like, Cool, but I never no, actually. You sang my battleship. I loved it as I a wish toy, I but I never actually played it with someone. It's a very simplistic game, and um, but they've made it complicated. Yeah. So now what it is is I think you program in your ship locations. Basically, this is the movie version, Electronic Battleship, now with aliens. I've actually heard that there is a redesigned battleship. What is it called? Battleship Galaxies, I think. Uh, that is not anything like Battleship, that it, it takes the Battleship concept and really makes it into a designer board game. And I've actually heard it's very good. It sounds good. But I've never played that. But we got our, our hands on this movie version, yeah. which has some adult assembly required, guys. Required. So everyone get naked. <laughs> there it is. Look Ooh, at that. Whoa. Handy carrying case. Whoa! School was, the original Battleship didn't have like these planes, fighter planes, did it? No. It was only battleships, what with the title. So I feel like, are there any, was there any like This is why this is pads? the movie edition, because it's got aliens. Right. A single shot pierced the deadly silence, and so the battle for Earth began. So does the, does the, does the black one go on, the, on the, the red one? It's funny, I wonder why they just don't apply those at the place. It's not exactly an Apple product, is it? No. When you were kids, and you got new G.I. Joes, mm -hmm. or G.I. Joe vehicles, did you put the stickers on them? Some, I, I think, never did. I think I tried to, and then it would crumb. I never did, because I always decals. put them on. Remember decals, no. you had to like, soak in water yeah, first? Yeah, that before. was the problem. If I ever did it, the it would be all crooked, because yeah. I'm a kid, and I was uh, all thumbs, yeah. and it would never look good. Okay, ready? Here we go. Lift until it grips. Grip. What, you? Nope. Grip. Nope. Still not done. Grip. Oh, how cool is that? Wow. So pick a formation. No, that's not, you're not no, playing I one. Dan's playing one. How is so it pick not, a formation. Player one? Actually, you should see how many people per, in the setup, how many people you get. Well, it'll, okay, you'll got, see. I have one you'll see on the grid. Yeah, but there's two reds and there's. Press enter to confirm. I like no, I gotta, this guy's I voice. It. Hold on. It is pretty Three, rad. Two, Hold on. One. Here, right. here, but one down. Being all crashed. Huh? All right, dude. I'm ready to rock. Okay. The game begins. Player How one. The game is a foot. Wait. Player one. Foot? That is Dan. Yeah. So, so you put in a coordinate to try to see you if you put hit, in a or... coordinate on where you think that the ship may be, and then it will tell you whether it's a hit or a miss. Do I select like one of these? Things? I think that's the. That's yeah. You, you yeah, go that's like different. like E seven or whatever yeah. the fuck. Yeah. Target locked on. Ready to fire. Oh shit, fire. Should I hit dude. this button to fire? I would yeah, probably so. That's awesome. That's so hit cool. It. Hit the fire button. Miss at Echo 7. Miss. <laughs> okay, so now what you do, oh, Dan, do go, Echo 7. is you put that in Echo 7 up here. So right. you can keep it so track. So you can try to figure out where they are. You can vector them in. That's uh, Alpha 7. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm the aliens. I'm the aliens. <laughs> I hit him? It sounds like it. Golf, golf four. I hit! So Right away! All right, you're up. This is cool. <laughs> Ready to fire. Miss at Charlie 11. Daniel, strike. Seriously? Wow. This is, has to be a hit. This has to be a hit. Ready to strike. It's unbelievable that I went all the way around oh, yeah, it before I. The mit the sound is kind of satisfying to be like. It is. Try. Target hit and all eight human targets obliterated. Obliterated. Awaiting orders. Player one. 
Target locked on. Ready to fire. Let's do it, Dan. I believe <laughs> that you're going to miss again. All right, I stopped liking Battleship. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of this. Yeah. Target locked on. It's basically locked. Ready to fire. <laughs> Yay! All right, now the game is afoot. <laughs> Not good. Not good for the old fleet. Enemy hit at Delta 11. Fleet target neutralized. Miss at Juliet one. Miss at Bravo four. Miss at Alpha four. Miss yes. at Golf four. Miss at Charlie fourteen. Miss at Foxtrot four. Miss at Charlie seven. Gentlemen, somebody, somebody key up on one. <laughs> Miss at India five. How much fun is this, huh? Crazy that my first one was a hit. Miss at Juliet six. Miss at Alpha one. Jesus. <laughs> well, pretty soon it's gonna. I think it's gonna I start getting like this. like this is awesome, and now it's like, right. yep, yep. <laughs> it's a little bit like playing the lottery. <laughs> I hit. I just thought of a game that I hate. <laughs> Is it this game? It's this game. I just thought of a game I hate. <laughs> I tried to tell you. you already Obliterated! What the hell is going on here? How have you got three of mine? I got one of yours. Battleship, baby. <laughs> That's Battleship. Miss at Hotel 7. Miss at Alpha 6. Sounds so familiar. Miss at Charlie 10. I hate this game. Your turn. Your turn. I know, Jeff. I'm taking my. I'm thinking yeah, about it. Yeah, let's be a little more strategic now, Dan. <laughs> yeah. But, but not as strategic. How many more? As... I have to find two. The, you, we're never gonna find the two fur. The two fur is the hardest one to find. Oh! Yeah, which one? Hotel eight. Hotel eight. That's not good for me. Oh no! Target neutralized. Yeah! You've been neutralized! Slam dunk that! Miss at ball six. Miss at Alpha 14. Oh, I felt that, my, my balls. Oh, it hit! Obliterated? Obliterated. Obliterated. Japanese destroyer was sunk. Miss at Charlie six. Look at the board, see if anything pops. I'm breaking down. I'm breaking down. <laughs> I'm breaking down. <laughs> I'm getting delirious. Ah! You're in the middle of a war, Dan. Yeah. Think about the war, Dan. You're out of food. Miss oh. <laughs> at <laughs> There's so many little places it could be. Ready to fire. So many little nuts and crannies. Yo! Oh, it's on, Jeff. Uh -oh. It's on. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh! Not good. Not good for me at all. Oh, shit. Not good for me at all. Oh, oh shit. shit! As soon as Jeff, I mean, it's, this is a little tense because now yeah. it's really the first person to hit could win. Finally! Oh, That's a game oh, end. shit! All right. This is, if I, ha I have to hit on this turn or I will lose. I have to hit. Well, no, because you can still dance around you for a bit. But yeah, you should probably hit probably on this turn. Probably not, though, because I'm pretty... Ready to strike. Miss at no. goal 13. Target locked on. Ready to fire. Game over. Let's see what it says. Aliens defeated. We did. They clapping! They clapping! Tell me where your guy is. I want to see where he is on my board. I want to see like how much around him I was. So where's your little twofer? Literally. Right there. I painted all around. Oh, there's only one dot around him that I didn't yeah. paint. So that's Battleship, Dan. Yay! Welcome. Welcome to the fold. Wow. You know, the electronicness of it is cool. Way better. Definitely, way better. But I mean, man, you can't go back. A, that game is not, yeah. I mean, compared to 
actual board games. But there is something about, because you, I mean, naval warfare is different than on the ground combat. And if you're, <laughs> as a kid, if you're fantasizing about, I'm a sub and I'm going to strategize yeah. and it's taking time, like, there's something very fun about yeah. this simulation. If you enjoyed Sub 688 when you were a kid and couldn't see out the windows. Well, I mean, this game has been around for what? 50 years, 60 something years? Like that, yeah. Like but this this experience, I think, trumps the oh, definitely. saying it. D most definitely. Are you sunk my, you know, like, this yeah. is yeah. cool. I don't know. I mean, I don't think you need to electronicize everything. But I agree with that statement, but I think but this, not, is this is definitely is a plus one. This is battleship. A good also, game. because you can, you good, can use good the... pipping. Thank yeah. you. Also, because you can use the thing so you can just get into a game. You know yeah. what I mean? Because even with yeah. the OG Battleship, you'd have to have like the 20 minutes of like. But that's the only and, strategy know. in the whole game is yeah. figuring out where to put your strips. But it, but you can strategize by looking at the. Well, presets. like at the end when I knew it was a three fur, yeah. I was going well. Making I can't be any of the twos, of threes. so I was making groups yeah. of twos actually exactly. to say like yeah. And I couldn't do that. You have to get lucky and get the two fur yeah, right yeah, off. Yeah. If you get the two fur right away, you yeah, you yeah. gold. Good work. All right, Battleship. You guys I guess the got, movie is more fun. You got Battleship. All right, everybody, be sure to stick around. We're going to be answering one of your Twitter questions right after this. But first, we want to thank our sponsor, Carbonite.com. Carbonite protects your files from computer crashes, fire, theft. When you accidentally delete a file, you got them right there lightning, backed up. Lightning bolts. Lightning bolts striking your computer yeah, randomly. that could happen. Yes, the, uh, the, the random transient what about, lightning bolts. What about bolts. like a... Aliens. Like a, aliens. Like a, aliens. Would aliens. Be ransacked my room. <laughs> yeah. What about like a wild animal gets person. loose in your bedroom? Done. Yeah, boar attack. Random <laughs> boar. Random boar attack. All An of those are perhaps. not a problem because your files are backed up automatically and continuously uh, and keeping safely off site. Uh, that's where they're keeping. Uh, you'll never have to remember to back up again. It's done automatically. Uh, whether you have one or two computers at home for the boar attack, or maybe you run a wild boar rescue small business and those boars get loose. Slash data center. And you have many, many computers in your small <laughs> business, perfectly fine. Carbonite is the better backup plan. With over one million customers, uh, Carbonite protects their home small business computer files, and they can do the same for you with plans starting at just $59 a year. That's $59 total for a whole year. That's like half the price of boar up. food. Dude, so much less than boar food. Uh, start your free trial at Carbonite.com with the offer code TRS. You'll get two bonus months if you decide to buy. That's Carbonite.com, offer code for two bonus <laughs> months. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got bored, literally, uh, is TRS. Wow, you wee wow. Bored by bored. Hey, send in your backgrounds. Yeah, it's great. Fans of totally exactly. Radshow.com is where you send them. This is a cool one. Yeah. Aliens attack. Yeah. <laughs> Don't miss tomorrow when we play Versus. Today's Twitter question sent to us with the hashtag TRSQ from Brian Crisp, Ooh. known as at quad underscore dog. Four asks, dog. If you could fix quad one dog. casting mistake, what would it be? Mine's now, obvious yes. and super easy, and it's really at the top of my mind right now. Mark Ruffalo in uh, for uh, yeah. they did fix Ed it. Norton. They fixed it. I know, but like retroactively put him in that movie. Uh, Make it yeah. all synergy. Ed Norton out, Mark Ruffalo <clears throat> in. I don't know if that would have movie made. I don't think I. As much as I agree that Mark Ruffalo makes a better Bruce Banner, I don't think that's why that Hulk movie didn't work was because of Eric. But it would have been better with or him. Ed. It would have been better with him. I agree. I agree. Mm, I don't know. And it would have been cooler that the that's Avengers that, movie had you. all that's the not, actual. That wasn't that was the, the thing. Movies. But no. here's the thing. I'm gonna go with. Uh, and I don't know if I'd say it's a casting mistake per se, but. I think the Avatar, for the most part, the Avatar movie that M. Night Shyamalan did, The Last, Last Airbender, Airbender, for the most part across the board, I didn't love any of the casting choices. I think the guy from um, Slumdog Millionaire as um, Maka, was it? Mm -mm. Uh, no, he, he was um, um, Fire. Yeah, wasn't it, isn't it Maka? No, Maka was the older guy. Ma Ma Maka's the actor who plays the older guy. Uh, oh God. I swear to God. We're terrible for not knowing Maka. this. I can't think of his name. I promise you it's not Mako. Okay. It's not. Yeah. Mako is the, the I know. I know that guy, yeah. yeah. Anywho, yeah. I could use your same argument here, which is <clears throat> Zuko. Zuko! Come on, it's not that far off from Mako. But we knew, I knew it wasn't Zuko. Mako. I could use your same yeah. argument here, though, that the casting is what, not what was wrong with that movie. You, tr and I totally uh, agree. It was one of the yeah. things that was wrong with that movie. The performances but, weren't great in that movie, though, so that's, no. I think yeah, that's valid, that, which is Ed Norton's performance in a couple of was, was fine. Yeah. Um, what about you, Dan? Uh, uh, I was, you know, I'll tell you what, what, the only thing that came to mind quick enough is in the late, I don't know actually, late 90s I think it was, mm -hmm. Arnold Schwarzenegger um, was in, was, was taking on roles 
that were for really good premises like End of Days yeah. and uh, the, one with the, the Six Days, six day, six day, yeah. Collateral Damage. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a great <laughs> premise, but but I mean, it could have been that could have been Jason Bourne, that could have been Matt. You know, there were ordinary guy roles, and he was really trying to be like, now I'm just you know, yeah, end of days open with him, and I'm totally like, ordinary, right? And it did Nothing not work. About and me. those premises could have been fun movies yeah. if they were the ordinary guy. Interesting. So, good work. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, Quad Dog. <laughs> What's up, Quad Dog? <laughs>